Boogie said, enjoy your friends. Okay. Hang out with friends, then. Like I said, this is all new grounds for me. You did it, Shio. You knew you couldn't. Huh? Um... Do you remember me? Shio Suzui, right? actually seem all that out of the ordinary. By now, she would be out running around spending time with her, with Anne. Jeez. So reality hasn't changed that much. Are you happy with Shio now? Hmm? Do you prefer things this way? But, but I'll be waiting for you. Um see you. Enjoying your family time? Hmm? You and Sai getting along? No, but... You're close. I'm sorry.
Whoa! No way, man! Hmm? Happy you can run now? E yeah Do you like this reality? What? Keep thinking, man. Huh? It's now or never. Whoa! See ya! What a coincidence. <laughs> Whose patronage was it? Indeed. Matarame? Everything must be perfect. No. The Sayori looks great there. I have faith in you. I... Futaba. <laughs> Is this a friend of yours? Wait. Being a great father, isn't he? Thank you. What will you do next? Um, I know you'll get through this. Taba's the only one that's left. Oh, 
Oh man, that's not your normal suit. You still look dapper. No, ma'am. You think I get supplement grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Great with his coffee. You have to move on. You can figure this out. to head home. It's me. Hi, me. I covered a few things in my investigation this week, so I thought I'd share my findings with you. What'd you find? First, regarding Maruki himself, he's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Uh, something about that. He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. So his research was stalled. What happened? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Marugi's put us in. It seems yes. that Takumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. Yeah, they're not dead anymore. I can see that. 
they aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. And phantom thieves? They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. Oh, are you a fan so far? That's quite the funny joke. It makes me want to puke. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? With Akechi to the stadium. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Insanity. So you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. I don't know. I'm sure they'll come around. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well. There's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Well, let's do it. How about this? Uh, well... Well, I can't literally do anything. This? Hold up. Can I actually go off and... The airsoft shop. Yes, I can. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Alright. Alright, which one? Even though it gets dry in the winter, be careful. Huh? Don't break it, okay? Hmm, how's that? Okay. Sounds good. That's what you're too better not use it to pull a prank. Hmm, that was good. Hey, we just got- uh, Don't break it, okay? The air is dry. That's what you're chewing. Sure thing. Uh, come again. I got us some new How toys. Now, let us depart. 
Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. Looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day... Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going... His words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> ah, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened, but still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be, but... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important and... I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well... I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? They broke it. And Morgana's a cat again. Well... <laughs> yeah. If I must. Alright. Rhett, Joker, and Akechi's Showtime is unlocked. Patients identified. Oh, 
that attacks fine and all, but it's even better to know their weakness. Go, keep it going. Come on, it's just these two and we're done. Let's finish this. Here we go. Shit. Next target. Well, time to be on our way. All right. The opposition is okay. gone. Let's proceed. Show me your truth. Am I gonna be able to go into the velvet room? Passive aggressive dialogue. Rather okay. amusing. Just to hear his snide <laughs> remarks. We had room to spare. It's a We don't know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore carefully. Hey. Yeah. Sim. Can't do anything with that right now. It's okay. lost. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he has will seeds. That's interesting. Thank you for coming. What's wrong with Sumire? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. This reality. Please, I want you to understand. For their sake, as well as yours. Friends want to stay in this reality. No, they don't. Well, it's time. <sighs> if I accept Maruki's offer, my friends and I will be able to live happily in this reality he's created. Or so he says. If we stay in this world, we really could lead happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow for the new circumstances is probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. I can't accept this reality. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. You can't hide from the truth. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? 
Sumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Sumire's fault! I can't live that kind of life! I have to fight Kasu I have to fight her? Please, don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... Don't do this. How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Stay out of this, Akechi. Please, don't make me do this. Uh, hold on one second. I know I'm no kill the moon. I am dog. Sorry for the cut. My dog likes kids and she has to say hello. Sumi. Uh, no, Sumire. Looks like you lost. Stay Why? out of this, Goro. You need to stop. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. I can give you strength. So you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me. If you want your pain to end and desire to live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! Uh, uh, <laughs> Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide. And together, escape from the nightmare! No, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> Fighting her persona? I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. It ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Persona! Raphael! Hm. Fear my power! Manifest! Ah! 
Oh, that's not good. I won't hold back. None will stand in my way. There. I'll break them. This thing. I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot coated garbage. You can't tell. It's her refusal to accept the truth. What kind of therapist are you? Can't afford to waste time on this shit. Here it comes. I don't think so. Ryuji, I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. I knew you'd all come. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... a Ketchikun and Dr. Maruki? You know, she's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? <sighs> so much of this shit makes no sense, but we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first, right, Joker? All right, let's get in formation. Why did they come here? Let's go! I got the party I want on top of it. Persona! Alright. Sandrion is mine. Focus on those underlings. Okay, that's that's great. Discord, whatever. I don't I don't even know what that was. Okay, look, here's, here's how I would improve this a little bit of... Just have one animation play, zoom the camera out, have it play on all party members. Simple. You don't like that! Oh, you... I wouldn't expect you to. Persona! There! You them right off your feet! Come. Nice, Joker! If I knew their affinity, just look for their weakness! I'm in! Alright! Take back what the lost do, the boss is so free then. I'll break them. Not persona. Eat this. It looks like it's working. 
working. Just hang in there a little longer. Sona! Good timing. The opponent is strong. Don't do it's anything tough. reckless. Go down. <laughs> it's strong. Fear Use anything power. but fire skills. It's, it's just gonna be a new to basically everything. But fire skills. <laughs> Is it just immune to elemental? Electric does work though. Persona! All, I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... 
Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace, is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maraki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want, but I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. Well, I've got plenty of time then. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got to rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something, something like something that. Something to do with Dr. Maruki anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? I should tell them everything I've known so far. Or is it catchy? So, Dr. Maruki, he altered our reality to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? There you are. That's right, Akechi. There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. Well, he's helping for now. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. Yeah. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all we're living using your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here. Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, Shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? <sighs> I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Are you okay? Oh, yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. 
No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. So I can't infiltrate the palace until the 3rd? Yo, welcome back. Huh? Didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. The painting's back you know, where it belongs. I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see? Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. Oh, oh yeah! I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. <sighs> What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. I am not a... Oh wait, yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. Are you sure? Yep, no worries. I'm fine. What? School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. <sighs> You're quite the looker. What? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Yep. It's weird how they just they gave him blue eyes. That's not common in Japan, I don't what, Is it common in Japan? I don't know, he has blue eyes normally. Never mind, I'm just blind, I guess. Hey! 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 Am I going into the. Velvet Room, yes. It's been quite some time. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. These clothes. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However... 
You held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. What do I do now? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Lady Lavenza told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Um... Uh... Good morning. Um... I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally... <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Are you gonna be okay? My memories are still pretty fuzzy, and I haven't really processed everything yet. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. Pick up some new personas. We have to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maroki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. They're in well, shock that he was right, that that's funny. our next step is pretty clear. We get back to the palace. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me, you know that, uh, uh reality-bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, 
We'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. Lavenza? Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That would be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how Magic. do you know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Maybe. Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. It's just magic. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, Plus, whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, We'll just take him out, too. <laughs> I guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. Give me a second, dogs. Yippin'. Yeah. I'll just add this. Yeah, I got 24 days. I'm gonna end this here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 Royal as I... Well, go after my rookie.